my name is Irene and welcome to my channel Leaping Around. In this episode, I hope to show you a makeover of a central area of my garden. But a little bit of a backstory before that. So I have gone on a plant buying fast for the past 19 days and then I did so well. But yesterday I just went out on a big splurge. So suddenly I have a large amount of plants that I have to put away. Um, secondly, this makeover is also inspired because a few days ago when I was so bored out of my mind when I couldn't buy any plants, so I went to visit my garden stone and revisit all the devils and monsters in there and I unearthed out a lot of pots and potting media and I just want to use up those potting media, you know, they were just lying around in sacks and then Last week, um, a tree was cut from the neighborhood because it was posing a danger to some houses and then suddenly this log, this beautiful log fell on my lap, literally. I went to, to grab this log from where they were cutting it. So kind of that I have all these materials and I'm just dying to do something with them in my garden. So um, it's quite chaotic. I have lots of plants, lots of potting media and um, I haven't exactly worked out the design in my head yet so we're gonna progress through this together. Let's get started. So this is the space we want to do a makeover of today. This is literally the center of my front yard and then there is this rainbow eucalyptus that's in the middle. So this stays, of course. And then we have also a lady, a statue here um, of a lady with long hair and topless and uh, with a fringy penny on top of her head. So the challenge here today is try to make this part of the garden, which is in the center, some kind of a feature and I haven't got it all worked out in my head yet so we're gonna figure this out together so normally I would say start by preparing the ground before you build anything up uh, but in this case preparing the ground also depends on what plants you want to put on and I haven't got that figured out just yet uh, the key decisions that I am going through right now is whether to put a large big foliage here or to have more finer details because the big leaves while they are huge and they are wow they would also be taking up a lot of space in the middle and that would make the garden maybe look smaller and cramped than it is maybe it's not a bad idea for like a jungle garden um but I'm not sure. Okay, so the thing I want to show you is is this one. This is the philodendron McDowell, I think. I don't think it's the pasta zanum, but anyway. So these leaves, as you can see, are really huge and they're really chubby and cute. I'm thinking whether to leave them at the end of the garden where people could see them better in its entirety or to place them in the middle where it's kind of like much more in your face and overwhelming. So yeah, I'm having a tough time deciding here. So while I procrastinate and put off making that decision about the McDowell and what plants to plant, let me show you here the piece of log that I was talking about that I wanted to um, also put in the center of the garden. This is a Y-shaped log and here we're going to have to figure out how to put this standing up right in a stable way. Look at this, quite beautiful don't you think? So okay let's do something about this log instead. So to stabilize that piece of log I have this beautiful idea which needs me to have a couple of sticks or pieces of wood and I have so much junk I have them just lying around here and I really hope there's no snakes or rats. Uh, Okay. Oh, no snakes. Very good. <laughs> okay. So the idea with this wood is that you you know that the log I'm just gonna attach two to its side so that it somehow stabilizes itself. Now this one is far too long, so I need to cut it. And conveniently, my husband's not around otherwise I would ask him I found this in the storeroom it looks brand new I hope he doesn't mind that I use this 
and I have never shown anything in my life. Let's give it a go. So it should be about here. Should I be wearing a mask? I don't know. Let's see how bad it is gonna get. Oh, okay. How do you keep it on that same straight line? I don't know. My God, this is gonna take a long time. Okay, I've done like maybe two millimeters. There's progress. <laughs> Cut. Two thousand years later. I'm not very good at this. Stuck. Oh, hello. Kind of almost there, I think. Much, much later. So, after a lot of consideration, I've decided not to put my McDowell or pasta zanum here because it's just gonna overwhelm everything and then it will be relatively too large. Uh, compared to the other plants that I plan to put here. So I have thought about what I could grab from my vertical wall. So as you know, I've done this vertical wall about last month and then I have just left the fern tree here. I'm gonna now take this fern tree because I feel like this base could make do with one and, and then cross it over. Okay, so you get the idea. Ow! <laughs> okay, nothing's broken. Um, yeah, you get the idea. It's a much more elegant tree. Goes much more up vertically. Very graceful with these fronts. Um, but I do now... Oh, did I just break this? Yikes. I do now want to plant it on the ground because they are naturally grown on the ground and it's really time to get them out of the poly bag. So let's make a little simple planter here. So I'm gonna remove this again. <laughs> this is my exercise. So you could build a tiny little planter down below. So I'm very proud of myself. A few days ago, I found this in the hardware store. I think it's like the drain or something. This would be perfect. I am feeling really clever right now. I'm just gonna use two halves to wrap around that tree. Yay! I thought it will nicely kind of just protect this tree while I fill up the outside with some potting media for my planter. Look! And then um, there is this little Monstera epipremnoid that I've been trying to grow for the past few months. I put it here last month hoping that it would, you know, do its thing and climb up and, and uh, become very, very huge. It hasn't done that yet. I was going to take it out, but I think I'll just leave it in here and see if it can thrive even with this gutter around it. I don't know. What do you think? Never mind. I could still remove it later if things don't work out. Ah. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to make a planter area or maybe about about here ish. So I could put up a fern tree and maybe other things around it. Um, I'm just gonna place them all around. I have a feeling I may not have enough bricks. And I know what you're thinking. Am I just gonna st stack these up without cementing it? Yeah, because that would be too much work. And I will try to do this 
ow, my feet's on the aggregate now and they kind of hurt. So I have to wear my slipper back. So this is used because I have it and I'm trying to get rid of it from my storeroom and I think the sand is pretty well draining media so why not? It's gonna take forever again so I'm gonna try to lift this back up Ow, ow, feet hurt, feet hurt, feet hurt. But now it's quite impossible. Husband, do you want to help? He's very quiet. He's right there, polishing his car. Maybe it's better that he doesn't know what I'm doing. I could very well just build a pond here and he wouldn't notice. Oh, oh my god, I have sand now all over my face. It's okay. It feels so good actually. It's so fun to touch. It's like a little sand pit. Literally a sand pit. So nice. These are rather coarse sand, so yeah, I think they should be good. They're not little, fine little sand, which these could get stuck and too dense. Hmm. Okay, maybe, maybe enough sand for now. I'm gonna pour the rest of this aggregate inside. Nice. Maybe I should have put my fern tree in here first. <laughs> oh my god. No. Yeah, we almost forgot you. So let's take you out from the poly bag. And I hope there's no nasty insect inside. So yeah, now I'm digging a hole for the tree. Do not do as I do. Put the tree or the plant first and then fill it up. Like this is double work now. Oh. It's heavy. It's really heavy. Oof. Ah. Okay. And so what I thought was a genius idea I have decided uh, not to use it anymore. Oh. Instead, I have a full drain, and this full drain, I'm gonna use it to elevate some plants behind. Oh, I still have to make this um, border. Yeah, complete this. Oh, I just remember we haven't actually finished the build. We have to put at least a couple more layers of bricks on top. So maybe we finish that first. I do get very distracted easily. So let's do more of this. And now we kind of have no more breaks left. Hmm. So as I was where 
as I was standing where you are now, I felt that this lovely fern tree is being blocked by this, this eucalyptus tree. And so I now want to shift this fern tree a little bit across so you could see this fern tree in all its glory. So now, some moving and pushing to do. Hurrah! So like this is absolutely how not to do gardening, pouring stuff in your planter box only to dig them out again unless you have little kids and you want to keep them very occupied. Okay now I've uh, created enough space for me to shift it over and where is my gloves? Ugh, wait, ow ow ow. This is very painful gloves where are my gloves where are my gloves I can't find the gloves but never mind I believe there's no centipede or anything of that sort here Ugh. okay let me come out to have a look Yeah, okay. Just gotta lean a little bit more forward, closer to the tree, not too far apart so that they look a little bit like have a bit more unity, right? Because this is supposed to be together. Oh boy. my face I've got dirt okay it's very exciting we we found a snake <laughs> you know a lot of people ask do I have snakes here and uh, the answer is yes I suppose when you have a big mess like this you can't have snakes so next I'm thinking to put this Madalena Magnifica and they are in full bloom now it's so beautiful however I hate this plastic pots that they come in so plastic pots have no place in this garden or you know visible one that is so I'm gonna try and transfer it into this pot okay let's try to fill this pot with something that is more chunky at the bottom first I'll go with some pumice so like my go-to material and then maybe some charcoal <laughs> okay i am not sure what this plant wants i'm not so familiar but i figure i can't go with some chunky stuff at the bottom before putting salt on top ah i'm so lazy sitting down i need to get up ow ow these aggregates are very painful for everything my knees my feet okay I'm gonna pour them out from this pot gently. So I bought this yesterday and last night there was a big storm and I think I had the nightmare that all of these blooms dropped. So I'm so relieved this morning as I woke up. They're still intact. Oops. Whoa. I just broke this flower okay never mind never mind don't panic do not panic it's okay it's okay I think you're okay there I don't really know what this plant thrives in this is from the Philippines endemic to the Philippines but I have some Filipino plant friends that tell me it's actually not so easy to find it in the Philippines. Okay, now I've done potting this and we're gonna try and put it at the back. Try elevate a little. Hello. Hey, Kim! She volunteered to help me for free. <laughs> so today I have a free labor. 
she's my apprentice. Hello. <laughs> Her name's Kim, and she knows very little about plants and gardening. Very, very little. She's okay. Good farming, but very little. Okay, great. So I'm gonna uh, abuse my um, privilege and get her to lift heavy stuff. Okay. You you can start by lifting those venti blocks and, okay. and put it here. You can just at the right time when I need. Here, here, here. Right. This one. Yeah. This one. Yes. So this is left over from my construction oh. and you could just place it here. Inside? Yeah, here. And then do this about five more times. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, <let's> <laughs> yes. So while she does that, I'm gonna repot another Madalena because I've got two. Oh this is heavy, heavy, heavy. This is another pot of Madalena and Try to do this without disturbing the blooms because they are so delicate. I have no strength. Should I do it like a cross section? So it's just. It's All right. Just yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Did you study engineering? No. No. It's okay. It is logical, yeah, she's a very bright girl. Um, dead leaves. Hey Kim, maybe I need your help here first. I'm trying to take this plant out and um, let's just try and loosen stuff around. Pull, pull it, okay, got it, got it. Thank you, thank you. Ah, good, thank you. You need a lot of strength to grab it. Yeah. It's my workout. <laughs> I'm constantly out of breath. Can I fit this in? Let's see. It does seem a little small. Um, let me try get rid of the soil at the side. People usually change their pot into bigger pots. I'm trying to put it in a tinier pot. I don't know if the plant will like this. Okay, this is my chunkier pumice and then I put in a little bit of charcoal. Charcoal is like antibacterial. We may have to lift this together Kim. One, two, three. <laughs> forcing it in. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know if the plant's happy. Can we try find a bigger pot? I feel sorry for the plant. It's supposed to grow bigger, <laughs> not yeah. smaller. So we've decided this is not the way to treat a plant that's just not nice. So we're gonna try to find a bigger pot. And I do have another one of this one exactly matching and so it would be great. Except that I have some worms living in there now. I am um, cultivating pet worms so I'm gonna get that pot. Here Kim, uh, your job is to migrate the worm to a different pot. Okay, let's do it here. And then they can live in a plastic pot. I don't know if they'll be happy with a plastic pot. I don't know much about worms, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, so that's what they are. <laughs> okay, Kim, I'm so glad you're here today. Okay, I'll do the job. I'll yeah, do the you, job. Do, you do this. I'll do the dirty job. Yeah, thank God you're here. Hello. So why is it beneficial to have worms in the compost? So that they could eat whatever waste you feed it and then out comes their poop which is very very nutritious for the plants. So what will you use this for? We will then put it on the plants and then you can even get the vermi juice like if you drain water from it they could use that as a spray for the plants. Hey, it's getting kind of cloudy now. I think I think while you do this, I have to figure out what I do. What shall I do? Um, okay. All right. Let's transfer this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, barely fits just right. Um, okay, let's lift it up and wait. I'll put it. You wanna lift this one? Yeah, well, let's do it together. Whoops, hang on. Ah, are you guys seeing the flowers? Maybe not the right angle yet. Okay, rotate. Are the flowers supposed to droop down? Yeah. Whoa. 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 I think you need to pick this up. Okay. Oh, is your structure solid? <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. Are you sure it's better like this instead of all stacked up? We're both not engineering students, so we don't know. <laughs> I think... Yep. It's more solid now. Okay. Is this one? Well, 20 minutes later. I feel like it's gonna rain any minute. So we better hurry up. Okay, okay, it's sufficiently stable for the sake of our video. Okay, we'll just put it on top. Ready to go. Okay. Yay. Okay, I hope it looks good from where you are. There's a storm coming, so yeah, we can test its stability during a thunderstorm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, is it? <laughs> I think so. That feels pretty solid to us. <laughs> oh, look! She's draped in pink flowers. Look, Kim, it's beautiful. Yep. I just don't know how long this bloom will last. But yeah, we'll worry about that another day. It's so gorgeous. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna pot up this Defenbachia yeah? very quickly because it's gonna rain. Okay, pour in a bit of charcoal. Where is the scissors? Ah! Ah, uh, okay. Okay, great. Quick. Cut? Yes. Oh, we should have done it here so that we don't dirty my beautiful oh, aggregate yeah. stone. Oof. Okay. That was the whole point of having a tray. So Kim, you have a gardening tray so that you don't dirty the floor. Got it. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> uh, I can hear the roots screaming. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You, we lift it up. Oh, just oh, okay. lift up. Yeah, lift up one, one two, three. Dirt, dirt. No? It will break the bike. I okay, I know we put it lying down, so... Oh, okay. oh. We could shove some roots inside, some fell out. Oh. Yikes. <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's a very hardy plant, this one. Okay. Okay, we'll <laughs> just whack it in. Okay, okay. It's squeezing. Yeah, I think so, too. But yeah, deaf and buckyas are, are very <laughs> hardy, I think. Yes. All right. All right. Yeah, looks looks fine. Okay, good. Uh, we have another plan. Let's do it again. Okay. Where's the other plan? Where do you want to put this? I think just just there at the spot, okay. empty spot. It's a really good workout. <laughs> there, tada! Good. Not bad. Uh, do I want to add another plant? Would it be too much? Let me let me grab this plant first. So I have another one. I'm gonna see if they look good together, or is it too much? It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> Can't see the statue. Yeah, okay. I 
like a lot though, like lush kind of feeling. Yeah, because it's taller, right? Okay. Okay. Let let me do the hard work. Okay, come. That's great. So we just gotta find another pot for that. Another black pot. Do I have a black pot? Oh. Um, I can only find this are the tiny black pot. What about that? This one? Nope. It's got a huge hole cut out. But yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> good, good one. I just have to cover it with some netting. And can it fit? Let's try, Kim. Okay. Yeah, just I think I we can. can. Yes, okay, great. Good, fine. Wait, netting. <laughs> this is a little bit sad. Have a video Maybe I just cut a few and then overlay it on top of each other because uh, it feels like it's gonna rain now. Uh, looks like it will work. <laughs> sad. Very sad. Okay, <laughs> I will go get a bigger net. Okay, bigger net here. Yeah, great. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wait, no, the, no, no, the bigger size ones. The smaller ones I use for potting, like um, smaller stuff. <laughs> chew, chew. <laughs> What's the difference between the big ones and the small ones? Um, the big ones you could use it for like a bigger plants the small one I will keep it for my more smaller delicate plants okay. so the, the bigger it is the the more would be much more porous the big ones so I would use it for bigger plants okay now you we will no need a little bit of charcoal okay enough enough for the antibacterial properties and then now Bring in the Defenbachia. Say, say it. What? Defenbachia. Defenbachia. Very good. Okay. Okay, so this plant, a lot of people will tell you, oh, it's no good because it's poisonous, blah, blah, blah. Why? It is poisonous, but you know, just, just don't eat it. Lah. Oh, it's poisonous? Yeah, so, so don't eat it and um, so you'll be fine. <laughs> But if you if you have like cats and dogs, maybe you, you should worry about it. Yeah. Okay. So. So don't put this in houses with pets. Or like a toddler that might eat your yeah. your plant. Going naked. Okay. Usually I check if there's any problem with the roots, and I'm having a quick glance, and they look very good so how do you know because they're like white and uh, you know strong strong if it's like uh, brown and soggy okay. then you need to worry about it oh sorry sorry no, no, wait 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 kim yep, it's yep, uh, yep. a lift up okay try and put them back inside inside oh no ah okay try to get the roots. yeah 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 try try okay. all right okay <laughs> Trying, trying. Okay, I'll do it here. Okay, I think the pot's too small. Damn. I, I guess we're gonna do this. <laughs> I, do you think we should use a bigger pot? Yeah, but this is the biggest you have, right? Well, there is this one. With the vermi. <laughs> Yeah, this is the one you just shoot no, out. I don't mind moving again. No problem in. at all. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay, we <laughs> we will move the worms again. Okay. For the sake of the plants. All right. The worms must be very very unhappy. I think so. To okay. Keep moving houses. All right. We have to find a new home for it. Okay, I I found two pots. Okay, good. Okay, start. Yeah, 
Oh, mosquito, mosquito. Uh, we should cut that in half so that I could share. Okay. Worm poop, worm poop. Oh, that's too much. Never mind. So a videographer came up with a new idea. Yes. Not really new, but yes, smart. she's very smart. So these worms are fed with our uh, fruit skin and eggshell. Egg, egg, egg shell tray. Egg, yeah. egg tray. Oh uh, yes. So they eat paper and fruits. Take the worms away, Kim. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Somewhere else. Go for a walk. <laughs> Okay, now it feels better. They have room here. Yeah, I feel better. <laughs> Enough. All right, that will do. Okay. Turn it facing that way, the other way. So it greets our viewers. Do your thing. <laughs> I wonder if it's a bit much. It's really quite like boom. Um, okay, let's see. I I do even have more plants. So I have this pot of apicia, and this is the first time I own any apicia, and I just love. I was really taken by its the texture um, and the pattern reminds me like a I don't know a leopard it feels very exotic to me so I thought it would blend in really well with this statue like the color could you tell it's almost like a light oh oh <laughs> maybe I just maybe I just do this <laughs> yay I was going to go through the trouble of repotting it etc because it is sitting in a, a plastic pot and I really don't like the look of it but I'm starting to think maybe you can't see it's a plastic pot Are you tilted? Yeah, is it tilted now? Is it stable though? Or maybe we put it in a terracotta pot Okay, wait Okay, Kim, terracotta pot Terracotta Yeah, that, that, yes Oh, wonderful! I'm so happy. Oh, now, now we have a little bit of a gap here. Let's fill it up with some plants. And I have, okay, let's see what we should have. Oh, the boy, the birds are really loud. So this is the Calathea tricolor. I think maybe it's too showy or too bright. It could be competing with uh, this and this. Um. The birds are really down. These birds are kind of my favorite to use because they kind of blend in with everything. Bring more. I think I have more. This is a fern lookalike. Um, I'll give you the name here below. I can't remember what it's called. And it is a prolific grower. It would just spread like weeds actually. So another favorite filler, ground cover to use. Oh, maybe I need to elevate something. Kim, can I have you? an idea. Yes, what? We have these bricks and logs that we can use them. Top. Can I get away with an orange pot? I think not. So usually, Kim, I try not to have colored pots because yeah. then they kind of stand out right you don't want the pot to stand out you want the plant to stand out yep. so usually i pot them in a black pot okay. can you try find a couple of black pots about this size yep. over there it's great having an assistant i'm doing it like this so that it, it faces outwards so you could see more of the plant and none of the pot. So there, that's a trick, Kim. Wow. <laughs> okay. Ah, 
So I want to put it at an angle. Oh, oh my god, at, at an angle again. So let me try something, find something to elevate it. I'll borrow a part from my vertical garden. I'm very good at taking things from mm -hmm. elsewhere to where I need them the most. Okay, so here I place it to elevate it slightly and then I could put the pot just slight, slightly angled. Maybe here, there's a hole here. So we try to cover up all the gaps for a lush tropical garden look. Another one's done? Yep. Okay. Uh, Kim, I also want to share with you the rule of odd. It means for landscaping, you should always have an odd number of plants. Okay. So instead of just having two, you should have three instead. Do you know why? No. But does it look better? Yeah. Okay, because when it's an even number, uh -huh. our brain try to uh, divide them out into two groups. Okay. So when things are in an odd number, it looks more unified because you can't quite divide it by two. Okay. So this is like... A philosophy. Yeah. What so, about those? <laughs> okay, so actually there is three stalks in here uh, there's two pots indeed okay. but really there's a lot more plants there's like about i think at least three or four or okay. five plants Got it. like you can't see that there's two right okay. unless you look at the number of pots yep. good question thank you i'm a good <laughs> student <laughs> so yeah this applies to landscaping and photography also when you're doing a composition for design wise an odd number is far better and and you could look this up in google it's called the rule of odd so while kim goes and get more aggregate first to stabilize the plants down below i'm gonna find something that we could hang to give it the vertical element so give me a minute i'll be back i need i need um a stool i can't reach what I want to get coming in with a beautiful glorious Hyperzia and how the hell am I gonna get it up there I'm not sure wait oh Kim can you fetch me that white stool over there at the end thank you Look at this gorgeous baby and my arms are so tired. <sighs> okay, you just placed it somewhere in there. Can it go in there? Yeah. Yes. And then you make sure I don't fall. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Or do you want me to do it? I think I can try to do it. Just make sure the stool doesn't move. Ooh. Okay. Nice. I hope so. I can't see it what you guys are seeing. And wow. If I may say so myself. What do you think, Kim? Come have a look. Very nice. Oh but you can't see the the, the plant behind. Oh yeah, you're right. So maybe we have to shift it a little it's now f too much on that side okay do you think you have to take it out and put it back in again no Whoa, it's heavy though yeah it is <laughs> it's a good arm workout oh, yes okay. yeah are we hanging over the other side no no it can, can, do, you, can? do you have like something do it. I can tie it over the tree. Oh, yes, yes, rope, rope. <gasps> okay, everyone, so while Kim is still busy trying to wrap that Hooperzia Gobiliae around, I feel like I need to wrap up because it's gonna be raining and it's thundering right now. So I hope you've enjoyed this little ouch. <laughs> <laughs> makeover where I have this statue 
anchored in the middle with this tree and now we've got hoop persias draping down giving that vertical element and then the feature wow factor here is I think my Madelina with its really really striking blooms I just hope that they will last forever and then I have some really fancy Deffenbachia galaxy going on here I bought these um, although they can be common plants however I feel it gives a really nice fresh pop it's uh, very white with dots so it reminds me of stars in the skies and then this Escapicia I added this because I thought it would blend very nicely with the statue which is now kind of hidden and it's okay um, the beautiful element about this is the, the leopard light -like patterns and then after that I think there is enough going on here and that's why I use large leaf fillers like ferns something that's quite plain and can blend well with the others because we don't want too much noise in fact I think I am pushing it a little already with the amount of of noise that's in here with this and this being really showy and then the thing that Kim is struggling with it's also quite showy I think it's okay we just let it be wherever it wants to hang yeah it's okay no need to struggle with it okay, okay Kim come here now say goodbye to everyone uh, hold on. <laughs> oh and one more tip if you can find some innocent naive person that wants to learn gardening and landscaping from you it's really handy to have an assistant to do this it really speeds things up okay so if you've really enjoyed this episode do click subscribe and like and if you don't please tell me in the comment below because that's how the YouTube algorithm works and Kim come on whoops <sighs> Thank you so much for, no for you know, the worms and the potting and then hanging this. I'll do it anytime again. Okay, <laughs> so we bid everyone. Bye. 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 Stay, stay.